Here's the O'Hare uh, psychopathy checklist, the PCL-22, that Sully was talking about that they, they took for Darley. They took it for Darley, even though the person answering the questions needs to be the person that is being is the subject. Darley didn't answer any of these questions. They answered for her. And they said that Darley came out better than those two did. But the, how can you do a, a test? How, where did you get the answers for Darley? Where did you get them? Did, did, did Darley answer every one of these for you? Did you, did you do that? You know, did Darley do that for you? So I'm going to take a look at mine. I would take a look at mine and see what it says. Uh, glibness, superficial charm. Uh, well, maybe a little bit. Nope. Nope. Not at all bored. Nope. Well, you know, we all tell lies, so I'm not going to put definitely present. I'll just be honest. Lack of sincerity? Absent. I'm a definite empath. <laughs> I'm going to do this and we'll see the lack of remorse or guilt. Not at all. I always feel bad for other people, even if I have to cuss them out. No lack of empathy. Parasitic lifestyle. I'm assuming that would be no, because I have no idea what the fuck that means. Lack of empathy. Let me go back. Let's not answer these wrong. Lack of empathy. Nope. Nope. I don't have any lifestyle. <laughs> I'm a family guy, man. Poor behavioral controls. Yes, I can be short-tempered at times. Yes. Sexual promiscuous? No, I've been married. I was married for 20 years, and now I've been on my second marriage for 17 years. I haven't any problems with that. And now, when I was younger, before I got married, I had lots of fun. So we'll put a no there. Early behavior problems? Yeah, you'd have to put some of that on Darley. Lack of realistic long term plans? That's absent. Am I impulsive? Eh, probably. Irresponsible behavior as a parent. Well, we've all been a little irresponsible. Frequent relationships? Nope. Juvenile delinquency? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Or probation or parole risk? Well, you'd have to put yes for Darling attending, uh, considering what the jurors had to say about her. Many types of offense. There I do have a lot of offenses. But if you look up my record, which which I, I'm pretty sure you do, you can look it up all those offenses that I had, right? And see how many I was actually convicted of. I've been charged a lot. But see how many actually I was convicted of. Be sure you when you when you're digging up my police reports. And the court reports on me, which you can find at DaytonMunicipalCourts.com, every bit of it. And I, I use my own name because I'm not afraid of anybody. But you can look at all those cases and see how many of them were actual convictions. Drug or alcohol abuse, not direct cause of antisocial behavior. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see what this says. <laughs> and I answered honestly. Ah, uh, there was one I forgot. Failure to accept responsibility for own actions well no i don't do that and and the proof is between pam and i and myself yeah i just made a post today before this question was even asked about accepting responsibility for my own actions something that me and pam went through i just made a post today before i even saw this about accepting my part in that so i'm putting no now let's see There you go. But I'm being explained as a dangerous person. A dangerous criminal, right? They keep saying that he's dangerous. He's dangerous. But they keep fucking with me. I didn't introduce myself to Sully. 
She introduced stuff to me. She's the one that I've got the message where she says, I'm going to publicly embarrass you. So go run and, and talk about what a victim you are. I'm going to publicly embarrass you is what you sent to me. So go on, run. Tuck your fupa in and run on down there. Because you're going to publicly embarrass me, right? That's what you said. And then they keep coming. You, you've came to my channel twice to tell me not to contact you when I've not contacted you. So go, go run and play the fucking victim. I don't care if you talk about the darling case. What I do care about is you throw these little, uh, the, this misinformation in there and it's disrespectful to Darley and them. To the, to the boys, I mean. It's disrespectful to David and Damon. Then you put up something about I said this and I said that about Braden. You know what? We've been through this before, right? And and like especially Pam. She knows exactly what happened with that case and exactly what happened when those people didn't get responses from me. They would make up responses, make up fake names. And we have one person that was in the group, Lion St. Yon. And if I have to dig all this shit up, put it back up again, I will. I can show them harassing me. But we had one person that was a part of that group that finally admitted that they mush fake and screenshot shit to piss me off. Hundreds of people heard it. So you could go on with that bullshit as you and I also had I can also show you a conversation that I had with Kelsey right as Braden was in the hospital dying. It shows absolutely no harassment. None. But when when people take a picture of my son and post it on Facebook saying, catch this motherfucker and blah, 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 when he hadn't been charged yet, you're damn right I'm going to message them and tell them they need to take that shit down. And that's what I did. You consider that harassment? That's harassment. He hadn't been to court yet. And I thought he was guilty right off the rip, but I still didn't want his fucking picture up there. So, there's your psychopathy checklist so apparently i'm way low way low so according to your own little thing right here because you did that for darley i'm not a dangerous person i don't know how you could do that for darley how you how did she answer the questions 